Sorry about that. Um, there was someone at the door. And I had to answer it because it was a parcel. Um, and they don't wait for you these days. It's not Australia Post that does it. That's where the mail is. Now. It's the other place. I'm not going to whinge about them, but I'm just saying that if you don't go, they won't leave it. Um, or if you take your time, they won't leave it. <laughs> and I can't really get to the post office. Um, so I have to get my husband to do that. Anyway, I fixed that last little bit up there, as you can see. Uh, it doesn't look too bad there now. Actually, I can see a bit of a watermark up here. <laughs> so I'll just put... Although watermarks are good, um, not on this sort of um, envelope. They're good on paper. You want to make distress old paper. Put some watermarks on. Um, there we go. I think there's just one more spot here that I think I'll do. And a tiny bit. Right, so the cricket is miserable. We failed. I think South Africa's 500 and something. And Australia only got to two something. It was very distressing. I couldn't watch it after a while. It was very distressing. Um, I was listening to the commentary team on Channel 9. Um, and I used to love Richie Benno, of course. Who wouldn't love Richie? Oh, he's lovely, Richie Benno. Um, and um, one of my favourites to listen to at the moment is Tubby Taylor, Chapelli, and um, they're my two favourites at the moment. Um, of course, I love Brendan, Julian Brendan, and Mark Wall, Steve Wall. Steve Wall is my idol. But I also love a cricketer from Tasmania. Oh, he's fantastic. I was only 20 years younger. <laughs> Georgia Bailey is one of my favourite players. Um, and also... Um, there's a great player playing in the Australian team at the moment called Burgess. Um, now Burgess is, oh, what, what is he, 37? And he is playing his heart out. He is a fantastic player. So if, if you don't watch cricket and you want to get into a sport, um, I recommend cricket. I love the test. Test is my favourite. Now, at the moment, I heard Mark Wall talk about, not Mark Wall, Tubby Taylor, um, Mark Taylor, his name is, talk about the four day test. And I think that that is a good compromise. Um, on the fifth day, usually, you know, it's all over Red Rover. And um, so they don't normally go to day five, although they have had some really good matches on day five. Um, so I think getting rid of one day from the test is a, is a very good idea. It just smartens up the game, tightens it up a bit. People um, have to do things in four days that they can rely on in five days. I think it's good, good idea, Mark Taylor. Thumbs up on that, Mark, because I agree with you wholeheartedly um, and um, I'm also enjoying KP at the moment Kevin Peterson from South Africa or England he played for England um, he's doing a really good job with Mark Taylor um, um, I think that he's doing a fantastic job um, also the more controversial one is 
Shane Warne. Now I love Shane Warne. I really do love him. Um, you have to admire the guy, um, how he played for Australia. Um, and his commentary sometimes is very, very good. Um, very motivational and also um, gives, gives them um, things to try to help them. Uh, he, he is very good. I think um, Shane Warne's a very clever man. Um, I'm not going to bag him, even though sometimes I don't agree with him. Because overall, I think he's a great Australian, and I think that he deserves all the kudos he's got. He worked hard for Australia and put us on the map. Um, but my all-time favourite is, of course, Steve Wall. Now, if I was, oh, he's pretty close to my age. <laughs> if he wasn't married, that'd be a different story. I'd stalk him. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. He's quite nice. Um, I admire his captaincy, I admired his batting. What a great Australian. And you know, these are the players that made all these runs for Australia uh, over a long period of time, dedicated their time and life to it. And you know, you have to admire them. I love Steve Wall. I don't think he can do anything wrong in my eyes. <laughs> no, he's not a god. <laughs> Okay, so I finished the cover of my Christmas book, and there it is. Um, I'm, I think, I was thinking about this earlier, I think I'll reinforce this so that when I fold it over, that can come over the front like that somehow. That's why I painted it. So I might reinforce that as an opening, a clasp, whatever. We'll see how we go could turn out disastrous <clears throat> and I'll have to get cut it off or tuck it in or something. Anyway, now that is the cover of my book. Now I've got to do something for the inside. Now I'm not used to doing um, scrapbooking and all that. It's, it's really not my forte. Um, I do like sewing and anything to do with fabric. Um, I do like crafts. I do. I have done a lot of crafts. Now this is a bit of my painting that I did. Turn in page. Um, it's got some stenciling there. Now what I did, that's the same green, and I thought I'd put that in at the front page as a nice front page. So I think I'll do that now. Yes, I'll mark it up and do it. Now, just cut it inside the book. Um, inside your front folder. Just cut it just inside. So I'll do it there. From the bottom. I'll do there. And we'll see how we go. So I'll just put this folder out of the way. Oops, that was in front of you, wasn't it? Sorry. And here we go. We're going to cut it. Let me see. This will fit in. Okay, it just fits in. Right, where's the line? Where is it? Right there it is. Right there. Okay, and I'm going to cut it, keep that scrap, that'll come in handy, and then we've got to get it down here, now this is, well it might work, I'll see. Yep. There we go. Now we'll just test it in our 
folder again. Right. Put it to the corner. But that's not too bad, is it? It's about right, isn't it? Let me see when I shut the book. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so that's the first of my signatures. Um, that one there. Now this is uh, sketching paper or art paper or something like that. I tore it from a book and I was doing a painting. So anyway, that's a very good start. Um, a bit of my art journaling. From the beginning. Now I'm going to put something on the front here. Just move that out of the way. And I don't know what yet. So I'll just roll this up because it's annoying me. And I'm finished painting, although when you start gluing, you do want some something down further. Um, okay, so there's the start of my book. Um, and the first page. Alright. Now that's interesting. I was just thinking about that, how I did that. You drop the paint in the middle, and then you spray it with some water, and then you just move it all over the page, and then you dry it off. I just used Scott Town to dry it off. And then you stamped it. I stamped it with some Merry Christmases. And then, can you see those stamps? They're pretty faint, but they're still there. Merry Christmas stamps. And then I did that stenciling with red. I don't have very good stencils. Um, I wouldn't mind buying some. Um, because I didn't mind doing that. That was quite good. I think that fits out quite well. I'm just going to measure that. Right, here we go. Like this. Right, that is actually a uh, pencil. Mm, six and three quarters. Three quarter inch. And then the length of it is... is nine um nine and a half no 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 nine and three quarters inch okay well that's that isn't it right there we go so that's my first one. Right, now I'm going to look for something else to put in there. I'm just going to take this art paper off this one here. I just want to try something. I have this stamp, corner stamp thing. Let me just tidy that up. I'm just going to try this punch. I don't know what it does. Ah, oh, okay, now I know. Yeah, that's what it does. I suppose that wouldn't be too bad to do. Um, as a little thing in your book there. Hmm. Sounds alright. Let me just see where to cut it. Now let me just see how that goes. Alright, that's not too bad. Crooked, I have to cut it. There we go. 
Right, now we'll do the punch hole again on this side. I think you just put it in whichever angle, like this angle or that angle. So it's this bottom piece here. Then you turn it around like that. But because it's the top one, you put it in that way. Like that. Right. I don't think I've used that before. That punch. Alright. So if we put that in there as a little pocket, that would match my first page. What do you think of that? Or we could put it on the paper itself. But I was thinking about leaving that as a page. You know what I mean? As a decorative page. Oh, there's that. No. Looks better down the bottom, I think. Doesn't it? You know what? It does. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick it down. Now I've got some double sided tape here. Um, this is very handy stuff. Um, I don't mind working with it, it's good. Oops, got my finger stuck. Alright, so we'll just stick that down there. Gosh, get off. I've got sticky tape all over the place. Right. It's still there. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, there we go. Now, with the double sided tape, you've got to take off the top layer, remember? Um, Now I'm just throwing my scraps on the floor because I pick it up later and then vacuum. It's just easy to do that, isn't it? Doesn't mean you're a slob, it just means that you'll pick it up later. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I'm going to put my first, what do you call it? Pocket in. And there we go. What do you think? There we go. Sort of matches. Well, it does match. But it's it's good with the green as well. The Christmassy green. Anyway, there's the first page done. So, um, I'll come back and do another video on another page. Um, and roll it along pretty quickly um, and that's what I'll do so there's my first Christmas book it's shimmery green and gold okay see you soon bye